Hello friends in Law Fanatics, myself Lakshay, a legal intern from Lexis & Company. Today I am going to discuss about recognition of virtual currencies and digital assets. The legal recognition and regulation of digital assets such as cryptocurrencies and virtual currencies in India are still evolving. The Indian government has not yet enacted comprehensive legislation specifically addressing digital assets. But here are some of the regulations or statutes that are governed by the government of India for them. So let us see. In April 2018, the Reserve Bank of India issued a circular that prohibited regulated entities from providing service to individuals or business dealing with cryptocurrencies. This circular effectively restricted banks and financial institutions from facilitated transactions involving cryptocurrencies. In March 2020, the Supreme Court of India quashed the RBI circular, stating that it was unconstitutional. The ruling lifted the ban on banks and financial institutions providing services to cryptocurrency-related business and individuals. Despite the lifting of the ban, the legal status of cryptocurrencies and digital assets in India remains uncertain. There is no specific legislation that provides a comprehensive regulatory framework for the treatment of digital assets. In 2019, the Inter-Ministerial Committee IMC proposed a draft bill which suggested a complete ban on India of cryptocurrencies. However, this bill, this bill has not passed into law and its current status is unclear. While the legal status of cryptocurrencies is uncertain, the Indian government has shown interest in exploring the potential of blockchain technology. Various governmental bodies and institutions have acknowledged the potential benefits of blockchain and its application in areas like supply chain management, identity verification and financial services. The government of India has indicated its intention to introduce regulation related to digital assets including cryptocurrencies. So there have been discussions and consultations to develop a regulatory framework for digital literacy assets to address concerns such as consumer protection, money laundering and financial stability. I hope you are clear with the view. It is though it is important to note that legal landscape regarding the digital assets in India is subject to change and new legislation or regulations may be enacted in the future. So guys, if you have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section. Thank you.